This demonstration shows you how to synchronize the ORM abstract, abstract persistable class into the ELD. And we've, so we first create a class diagram with an ORM abstract persistable class. Okay, we just use the default the untitled as the default package. And now we create a subclass. We don't specify any attributes in here because we won't want to focus on how the ID will be mapped. Okay, go to the tools, ORM, and uh, synchronize to ELD. And you will prompt to specify the diagram, and we just use the default setting. And next, you can specify, you can select how the ID column will be mapped. It. And again, we use the default setup. And now you can see a class two is being created, and uh, this is a map to the concrete class class two, and with the ID automatically inserted. Now we create the ORM diagram, so you can see the map clearly. Select the class and entity and drop it to the diagram. Now you can see the the class, the abstract system class, have a subclass class two with the you can see the attributes. ID attributes is created in the superclass, and the concrete class with is mapped to the entity, the class two with the ID column inserted.